it was a dollar decline that provided the, the drive from late October to the end of the year. Now we can see that. Well, let's look at gold. Did gold fall or did gold rise from October 31st off of these lows here, right? Well, initially we kind of see it bought a bit, a bit of a dip. And then mid, mid November, we saw a significant rally in gold. So what does that mean? Dollar is weakening, right? So that last leg here from the 14th, 13th, 14th to the 20th, the 1st of December, had significant dollar weakness. So from this level right right there, so 13th. So we think, saw things kind of, VIX was kind of low down here. We saw the big move, the squeeze, which makes sense. Then all of a sudden on the 13th right there, we began to see the peak in the dollar and a massive sell-off where we saw a significant rally in gold, right? So that makes sense. This last rally here, was predominantly about dollar weakness. Now, there were periods of dollar strength in there. So if we do a SPY plus GLD rally, I know we've looked at it since the Fed, but what about since the middle of November? Here is, where is, where's November 14th? 13th is right there. So if we compare using the left-hand scale, you know, markets only up since, you know, since about the November of. Uh, 13th time frame. Okay. Um, we're at about 2.44 to 2.5. So that's 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 divided by uh, 2.44. So that is a 2.4% rally in the S&P in real terms since when? Since